Hey everyone, Tragic here with some more non-MTG packs to open. Looks like Marvel today. So, really into this kind of stuff apparently. Not enough to really do a whole hobby out of it, but I really kind of want to check these out. On eBay, there are some sellers selling just like randomized lots of this stuff. Totally up my alley. Uh, I actually requested the Ghost Rider one because I wanted to see if I could get a glow-in-the-dark card. Um, fun times, right? So. If you're into comic book stuff like I am, stick around and take a look. Let's see if I get anything good. Um, I don't imagine that any of this stuff is worth much. There are some chase cards apparently. I'll have to look these up later. I don't know really anything about it. Just kind of want to check it out. I would love to get a glow in the dark card. I used to have a glow in the dark Ghost Rider number 15, I think it was. And uh, that was my jam back in the day. Let's see here. Ghost Rider versus Punisher. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that for the 90s. Just awesomeness, right? Um, I think this is the cover. I want to say Punisher War Journal number 12. Let's see how far off I am. Doesn't tell you, but I think it's something like that. Artist Mark Texaria. I don't know how to say that. Cool stuff. Always liked Ghost Rider. I mean, uh, he's just a flaming skull dude on a motorcycle. What's not to like? art by Joe Kubert. It's in the frenzy. These cards are more pringled up than magic cards, believe it or not. They must come from the same printer. The Spirit of Vengeance. That's the original Johnny Blaze, huh? Here we go. I remember this one. That's Eric Larson art from um, Spider-Man, probably number 17. I think it's like the third series of Spider-Man. A bunch of... Uh, it's kind of a cool series. There are a lot of guest stars uh, on that Spider-Man book for over the course of like four or five issues. Ghost Rider, Hulk, and Sleepwalker. I remember all this stuff in the early 90s. Really dating myself. Alright, and uh, I think that's that Snowblind or Blackout, I forget. Nope, Hag and Troll. Again, the Mark Texiera art. It's pretty distinctive to me. Ghost Rider himself. He cannot be hurt by that knife. He doesn't feel pain. He's just like a sack of bones that are on fire. Yeah, pain. No pain from physical force. It just is not happening. Um, no, don't know who that is. Lilith. The Rise of the Midnight Suns. Super evil. Yeah, it's all, all underworld stuff there. Doing a wheelie. Cool stuff. So, as you've seen, I've I've opened like movie cards on this channel before. Um, like like the composition is just bad. Here with the comic book art, you can actually choose like the best panel out of the book and show it off, and it actually makes a pretty good card. Wolverine, Punisher, and Ghost Rider together. There was literally nothing better in the early '90s for comic book stuff. The Hearts of Darkness. Like, these guys were in every book as a crossover because it just sold books like hotcakes, I think. There's Johnny Blaze. Spirits of Vengeance. So it looks like I did not get a glow-in-the-dark card. I'm super bummed. Unless for some reason this one... Oh, actually, I think it's got that texture of the glow-in-the-dark. Oh, man, I'm going to have to try that. That is, This is the one, apparently, that's the glow-in-the-dark. All right, I'll, I'll give it a try later. Let it charge up there in the light and see if I can get it to glow. And just to verify, I had to go into the dark, but this card does indeed glow in the dark. So there you go. Fun times. All right, next up, Spider-Man 30th Anniversary Trading Cards by Comic Images. And this one, Special Prism Card. So we've got some, some chances at a chase here. And uh, I don't know if there's really a big market for this kind of stuff as collectibles. I mean, there's... Some people are gonna want to really get the whole set, but they put like they put these out like every year, right? There's Todd McFarlane art. You can tell right away. Hydra Man versus Spider Man. Uh, there's not like a Prism card. You read all about Hydra Man there, and it's some kind of checklist. Let's see here, the 30th anniversary. This is just the checklist for this set. 90 cards. And all of the stuff that goes with it. The lizard, 
More McFarlane art. And that's more McFarlane art, apparently. 1992. So, Todd McFarlane, a very popular artist at the time, went on to despawn. This looks like all from the McFarlane run of Spider Man. So, they were really trying to capitalize on that. Shutterbug. Sure, yeah, he's Peter Parker. He's taking some pictures. There he is in just a, like an impossible crouch pose. <laughs> Look at the, and the just shadow. There's like, you didn't have to even fill that out with pencil. Oop, there it is. He's a wall climber, sure. We can kind of assume that he's like hanging on the wall like that. That actually makes sense to me. And there he is, the Punisher again. Gotta sell some books. That's not McFarlane art. Don't know who that would be. That is John Romita Jr. art on the back. You can just tell by looking. That's from like Punisher Warzone number one, I think. Don't ask me about anything after 2011 as far as comic books goes, because that's when I quit buying them and collecting them. Here we got Silver Sable, and I think uh, Paladin is that guy's name. And again, it looks like McFarlane. And there's Cap. The Red Skull. So this is uh, Mark Bagliard, I believe, and the Taskmaster on the right. Um... I think this is the story where Peter's parents show up, but they're really, like, not. I, I don't think I know how that one ended. Yep, there's his parents. Some information. You can read all that. I'm actually not going to right now. The Green Goblin. Wow, and that's, like, old school art. That's an interesting uh, glider that he's got there. This must be from, like, his first appearance. So it's probably Ditko art. Which I do not own that copy of that comic book. Um, but yeah, later on he actually wrote it with his feet instead of like a broom. That looks like he's got like a witch broom. And there we go. I think this is uh, when they took over for the, the Fantastic Four. Very briefly, this super group here was briefly known as the Fantastic Four, Four to replace. Probably Reed died, I think, at one point. And of course, he came back to life in a day or two. But that was a good way to sell books for that at that time period. So... There we go. That's testing my knowledge of Spider-Man comics from the early 90s. Tell me how I did. Next up, Hulk film and comic cards. Win an original Hulk number one. Yeah, I would like that. And find a one of one Jack Kirby cut signature card. Um, yeah, that'd probably be worth a little bit if there was such a thing in here. Pretty rare, I imagine. And whatever promotion to win this Hulk is probably well and truly gone at this point. 2003, I'm guessing that expired at some point, so I'll just get in here and see what, what there is for fun. I didn't even read, but it looks like it's Upper Deck. Got the little Upper Deck logo there, so it's always typically means like quality cards, so. Hulk the Beast Inside. So and I think, okay, so it's all green, kind of like inlays there, so this is at the base set, and it kind of like has a Shine effect to it, a little embossing. The Beast Inside. And there's the Eric Bana version from the first Hulk movie from the early 2000s. Probably about this year, in fact. Jennifer Connelly, The Lab Rat. Just some, um, yep, information about Betty Ross there. And a negative. I don't know if that makes it better. Comic art, what's it say? Fear Factor. All right, and True Love, Jennifer Connelly again. And I think just one more card is a trading card game um, advertisement. Okay, there's a code. Your chance to own a piece of comic history, so maybe I'll put in that code and see if I can win. I think it's probably over by now. And then uh, I guess like an insert. Um, FC02 is the number on this one. And just a cover. Famous cover. I imagine that's what it means, right? Incredible Hulk number two. That's pretty famous, all right. First appearance of the Green Hulk. He was gray in his first appearance, I think. There we go. Incredible Hulk cards. Next up, Marvel 2012 Greatest Heroes Trading Cards. And I don't know anything really much about this set. Um... Reward points you can get. I don't know if there's any great inserts or anything good about this one. Um, P. 
people that are really into the collecting these sets would probably know more about it than I do, so we're just gonna go with it. There's Thor. He's printed on this card. And there's some a quote by him, which is fun. Nightcrawler. This one said is that a shiny prism parallel? I don't know. Nightcrawler. These are two reds. Does that mean anything? There's more red. So it looks like this Captain Britain might be a, uh, a parallel shiny version instead of red. Got Captain America red and a shroud. All right, that was a quick pack right there. So uh, good, good card quality. Very, very nice printing process there. I guess if you're collecting the whole set, you got to get all the parallels, right? So it makes you buy more packs. All right, last up, Marvel Masterpieces. And it's from Skybox. I don't know what year. 1992. So I think this might have been one of the first premium kind of sets. So I guess we'll see. Oh, very nice. Emma Frost, the White Queen. Very cool. Marvel Masterworks. There's Silver Sable. The nice tush. Yeah, the White Queen. So a while back I got into buying up first appearances of characters, trying to speculate before the movies came out. I just so happened to get both of these and uh, before they were featured in movies. So uh, I've now moved on to other hobbies, but I do have quite a collection of comic books. Silver Sable and Jack-O-Lantern actually, apparently. Storm, don't have her first appearance, unfortunately, because it is on giant size X-Men number one pretty pricey quasar he's okay first appearance i guess that hulk comic and then sandman oop i think i got two in here night thrasher from the new warriors right yeah i don't have that first appearance either very expensive night thrasher i think i do have this one now thor 411 yeah i've got the first new warriors sure all right marvel masterpieces so that is a quick little look at some Marvel cards from the 90s and later. And if you're into that kind of stuff, let me know. Believe it or not, this um, was actually requested. I had one viewer say that they would love to see some Marvel stuff. So there you go. Um, I'll probably do more in the future because I got a 10-pack of this. That was half of them. So Tragic MTG. Catch you later.